welcome to texture myth in this session we will discuss one more method through which we can create duplicate physical file or we can create the cop uh, date we can copy the data from one physical file into another physical file so in our previous session we see two methods one is cpyf command and another one is crt dup obj that we can use to perform the same operation it means from these two uh, for from these two options we can also create the duplicate physical file or copy the data of one physical file into another but in this session we will see another option uh, through which we can create the same physical file so for that we will use str sql command so just type str sql now put the query in from which uh, table you want to copy the data so i will show you the data first so select star from sharmit1 slash emppf so we have this physical file emppf in which we have five records so now we will create the uh, duplicate physical file from this physical file okay so what for this we have to use the same query so whatever the query you have written here just write the query or fetch the data as per your requirement and after that press shift f1 so once you press shift f1 you will reach to this screen here you have to take the option one that is change session attribute now press enter and here in the option select output just select option three that is file so just change it to option three and then press enter rest all things will be the default because uh, we will just select uh, we we are going to just copy the data so it is already showing that allow copy data is yes so for now we will uh, go with the default option just change this select output as three and then press enter so once you hit enter it will ask you the output file detail so which whatever the file you want to create just put here the name of that file so for now we will create this uh, file for uh, with this name that is emppf2 now put the library that is shermit1 member will be default and option will be default so as per your requirement you can select these option but for now we are creating the new file that's why i am taking option one or i am going with the default option so it means it will create the new file uh, with the name of emppf2 and shermit1 okay it will create the file in this library shermit1 so now hit enter once you hit enter then take f12 and came to this screen again now whenever you press enter on this screen it will create the new physical file so i'm just hitting the enter so now you can see that it created it is created so emppf2 is created in shermit1 okay now after the file is created just take f uh, option shift f1 again now go to the change session attribute again and make this option as one because now i don't want to create another file or i don't want to create an, uh, the same file again so in that case we will change this option to one so make sure after creating the physical file or after creating the duplicate file you have to uh, change this session attribute again so now i make it as a one so it will display the output only it will not create the file now hit enter enter again and now take f12 so now we will run the same query again so firstly we will see the select star from emppf my library name shermit1 slash emppf2 so just enter so now we can see that it created the new file that is emppf2 with the same data that is present in the emppf file so we can check with the same query just make it as a emppf so this is the same data so emppf2 is created from the emppf1 file using the by changing the session attribute okay so the key points of this session is that after creating the physical file or duplicate physical file make sure that you change the session attribute uh, option again to the display mode otherwise it will create 
another physical file if you have create uh, if, if you have taken the option create or uh, replace so just to make sure uh, just to avoid the redundant physical file or redundant data we will uh, change the session attribute again so for this session that's all that i wanted to share with you all so thank you for watching